In OBD and RM 2023 was introduced capacity forces for shear and torsion according to Eurocode. Beyond the shear, uh, reinforcement area values and capacity factors, the user can now obtain capacity forces according to chapters 6.22 and 6.3 of EC2. Capacity forces are calculated for total results. No change was done in the schedule action and plot diagrams can be produced throughout RM sets definition. So let's see how to do it. In uh, this example, we are going to present one precast concrete girder roadway bridge with five continuous spans. The bridge deck cross section is formed with four composite concrete girders. The bridge model was done in Open Bridge Modeler and after sent to RM Bridge for calculation. So we are now opening OBM for the bridge geometry model. We can go to Utilities, RM Bridge, choose the standard code to Eurocode and send the model to the analysis. A uh, first calculation is performed with the calculation of the first 10 eigenmodes and the self-weight. As we are seeing here. This video will be focused on shear soup schedule action. So in Analyzer Properties cross-section, we can check the reference set defined in the cross-section for shear soup. Uh, for this composite uh, girder, we see part 2 is set up for the deck and part 3 for the girder. The reinforcement type shear for web needs to be uh, defined on the girder on the first part element that is activated at the bridge construction. The user doesn't need to define shear for web reinforcement type on the composite part element. The reinforcement type torsion as torsion per meter can be very different in case of opened cross sections, the user needs to define the torsion reinforcement on part and on composite elements. In stages, a schedule actions and for the shear soup, the user introduced the ultimate envelope for which it's calculated the shear and torsion reinforcement area values and now the capacity forces too. Let's run the model. In the first run, we are starting with the reinforcement area values equal to zero for obtaining the required and needed reinforcement. We're doing the wood soup and the bending moment capacity calculation. Uh, we see now uh, for the first composite girder and at the top diagrams, the capacity forces for shear and torsion and at the bottom diagrams the required reinforcement area values. After knowing the needed reinforcement, the user can now introduce the levels of reinforcements placed along the girders. In the structure elements checks, the reinforcement area value can be introduced and the user has the option to fix the value or to make it varying, just in case of the calculated area result will be higher than the values introduced. We can do it 
for shear and torsion reinforcement types. And run the model again and the same diagrams will get now the following aspect. Let's look at RM sets definition in properties RM sets. The first window we have the elements to be drawn. Uh, in envelope window we call the ultimate envelope and choose joint results for composite element. And in miscellaneous we go to results type and select the capacity forces that we want to draw. The plot diagram is produced. The report file can be obtained as well and the Excel spreadsheet with the capacity forces too. I hope you have enjoyed, thank you very much.